Hello friends. Today we will learn about a static keyword in Java. We know that Java is an object oriented programming language. So we create class such as class test and then we create different objects from it like test1, test2 and test3. So whatever variables and methods we declare in class test that belongs to these objects. But sometimes we might want to create uh, a variable that belongs to class only. In that case, we can use a static keyword with it. So whenever we create any static variable, this variable belongs to class, not to the object. And all the objects share the same variable. So now, uh, let's see what all different ways we can use this static keyword. So first of all, we can create a static variable such as static int count. So one of the most common use of uh, having a static variable is to create constants in a Java class. Then the next one is static methods. We can create a method and mention it as static. So in that case, so if we want to call this foo method, we won't need an object for the class. We can just give the class name dot foo and this method will be get called. This is very useful when you want to create some utility methods in a class. The third is a static block. So sometimes we want to initialize some static variables or uh, do some pre-processing before creating the instance. So in that case, we can create the static block in the class definition. And whenever the class will be loaded by a class loader in memory, this block, this static block will get executed and you, you can uh, initiate some uh, resources. The fourth one is static inner classes. So in Java, we can define a class inside class. So the st inner classes, we can mark it as static and then it, it you can create an instance of this static class, just like any other variable. And the fifth one is interface static method. So this is a new concept that got introduced into Java 8. So in any interface, we can create a static method and then we can call it just like any other static method in any other class. So now let's see all these static keywords uses in action in a Eclipse program. Okay, so here is my test.java class. As you can see that this is a public class and I have created this static int variable i. And then we have this static method, static int foo, where I am passing two integer variables and returning the sum of it. This is a static method. And then here is my static block. So whenever this test class will be loaded, this static block code will get executed and it should print this inside a static block. And here I am accessing static variables int and a static method I add. Note that in a static block, we can access only the static variables and static methods of the class. We cannot access any non-static methods or variables. Then last one is the inner class. So this is a nested class in the test class and here I have marked it as static. And I have just created a constructor and where I'm just printing something. So now let's see how we can access these static variables and uh, methods and inner class. So you can see that if I want to access this i variable, all I need is to say class dot variable. Similarly, to access the method, no instance is required. I can just say test dot add. Now to create the instance of a static inner class, it's again just like any other variable I'm accessing as test dot inner. And with the new operator, I'm creating this inner object variable. And then the last one is this my interface. So this is an interface where I have created this static method with name foo. If you are not on Java 8 or ever, this will give an error because this was introduced in Java 8 only. And as you can see here, if I want to access this foo method, it's just like any other static method in other classes like test.add, I'm saying my interface.foo. So now 
let's just run this and see what is the output is coming and then we will look into that so yeah so if i run this the first line is inside a static block so since the first time i am saying test.i though so test class is getting loaded into memory and the static block is getting executed that's why it is printing inside a static block then if you remember in this static block i am calling this add method that's why in console this met is this is printing a static method call and next it is printing 60 because i am printing test.i variable which got initialized to 60 here and again i am calling test.add method so this static method called is getting printed and then finally here my no test instance created is getting printed then i'm creating this inner class object so it's going here and this default constructor is getting called and bec because of that it's printing inner instance created finally when i'm calling this foo method it's printing interface static method so that's all for this static variable tutorial in java i hope you get fair enough understanding of static variables and uh, methods uh, just use it whenever you want to uh, create some uh, variables that you want to share across all the objects or you want to create some utility methods and then a static block when you want to initialize some static variables or to load some resources before creating the object thank you thanks for watching have a good day Bye bye